guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It's time for another Let's Talk Authors. This time I decided to talk about Julie Kagawa. Uh, last year I just, it was when I first started discovering uh, this author's books. I've, I've seen a lot of people, you know, talk about her stuff and this and that, and I just never really got into the whole first series which was the, the 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 series on fairies and I was just like oh, I don't know if that could be really that great well when I decided to read the book I was or the books I was really really happy uh, Brittany and I decided to read this series together my friend Liz decided to send me uh, the rest of the books that I needed and we started on this journey um, and that, of course, was the Iron Face series that starts with the Iron King. Um, this series was just, it was fantastic to me. I absolutely loved it. Um, I look forward to more of her stuff. So let's just kind of get into the books that I have by Julie Kagawa. And, of course, first it is the Iron Face series that starts with the Iron King. And then we have the Iron Daughter. The Iron Queen, and then The Iron Knight. Out of these four books, of course, The Iron Knight was my very, very favorite. It was written so well. Ugh, I just, I think this is probably the first time I had a book hangover was from reading this book. It was just wrote so beautifully. The entire series was beautiful. The, the world building was beautiful. It's so easy to get yourself immersed into the story, and if anybody ever asks me a favorite series, this is definitely one of them. Another series that I have is this one, the Blood of Eden series. It starts with the Immortal Rules, and I just received this book from a coast because she had read it and she sent it on to me, and I just really hated the cover. Um, along with that is the Forever Song and the Eternity Curse. I believe it's the Eternity Curse is second, and then the Forever Song is third. These covers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Except for, of course, this fake sticker on here, which doesn't come off. Um, but I have not read this one yet, but I plan on reading it very soon. So there's those. Those are the seven books that I have by Julie Kagawa. Um, she also has the Call of the Forgotten series, which is a spin-off series from the Iron Fae series. Um, I, this is about, well I'm not going to tell you who, who it's about because it gives something away. But right now I found three of those listed which would be the Lost Prince, the Iron Trader, and the Iron Warrior um, are part of the Call of the Forgotten series and I just can't wait to get my hands on those books and start reading those. Um, she also has the Talon series which is Talon and Rogue. I don't have either one of those and I'd really like to read them. I've heard kind of mixed things about Talon though. The cover was gorgeous and I almost bought it and thought no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it right now so um, I do look forward to getting that. There's also manga. There's also manga that by Julie Kagawa. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. So that is about all that I know. Um, I know there are also you know like um, novellas that go in between these series that I have. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to the ones for the Iron Face series. I know there's one, it's like Ash's Letters or something for the Iron Face series. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to these, but you know, we'll see. But that is who I wanted to talk about this week was Julie Kagawa. If you've not read her stuff, please start with the Iron Face series. It is beautifully written, beautiful world building, beautiful characters, and I just think it should be out there and it should be read. So, just my opinion. But anyway, guys, thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.